In this video, we'll see how to upload your Ruby on Rails project that's on your Windows machine onto your GitHub account online. So to get started, I'm assuming you're going to install Rails installer. Now Rails installer is the simplest way to get Rails installed on your Windows machine. So please go ahead to railsinstaller.org, download the software and just follow the step-by-step -step instructions and go ahead and install uh, this software on your machine. Next, go on to your Windows Start button and click All Programs and click on the Rails Installer folder here and within that, click on the Command Prompt with Ruby on Rails button. And now that you have the Rails Installer window open, this is your command, uh, command line window and you'll have a folder called C colon Sites. Within that, we'll first create our Rails application rails space new space sample app sample underscore app and press enter and once your new rails application has been generated you can cd into the rails application i'm just typing change directory for that i'm typing cd space sample and i can just press my tab button to complete it auto complete i don't have to tap i don't have to type all the letters and if you see ls inside it you'll see a bunch of files so the next thing we need to do is to install git for this particular application to initialize git git init and press enter that initializes your empty git repository and it's located in this particular folder next i add all the files into this repository git add dot dot stands for all the files in the sample underscore app folder that is our entire rails application and next uh, you need to commit these changes git commit dash m within course initial commit and that commits all the changes into the git repository next head over to github.com and create an account on GitHub. You can create an account for free. So let's say you click on sign up and create a free account. Go ahead and do that. And then once you sign in to your account, you'll see uh, this uh, si the, the front page of your sign in account. And you should now go ahead and create a repository for your sample app on your github account so to do that you can click on create a new repo icon here on the top right go ahead and create a sample app it should be the exact same name as your ruby and rails application that you created here so here it says sample app so here it should say sample app as well and you can give it a brief description my sample application um, you can let it be a public repository that anybody can see this is available for free. If you wish to choose private, then only some people can see it. And in that case, uh, uh, I think you need to pay. Um, initialize this repository. Do not check this box. Okay, so just go ahead and scroll down and create repository here. And once you do that, you will have this repository. Um, okay, so the next thing we need to do is uh, create um, SSH keys. So just click on this account settings here and um, you'll see the SSH keys button here. Just click on that and click on the add SSH key button here and you'll see a form appear at the bottom. Okay, now for the title, you can just give the title of your particular machine. And to copy paste the key here, you need to head back into your command prompt and here just type in public key okay p-u-b-l-i-c-k-e-y just type in that and your public ssh key will be copied to your clipboard that means if you press Control v after that it will be available to you you can paste it so head back to the command uh, the uh, browser and in the key form here just press Control v Control v will paste your key v for victory Control v and then you can add your key here and it'll ask you for your password and 
and uh, and there's the new key that has been added now go back to your repositories and within that your sample app repository and be sure to click on the ssh button over here instead of the http click on ssh button and if you if you scroll down a little bit you'll see some commands here that have been created for you uh, that will enable you to push your uh, git repository containing your rails app onto github so just copy the first command and you can right click and paste here and press enter and you can copy the second command and right click paste press enter and now your git repository on your local machine has been copied onto your github account you can go to your github account and if you now click the sample app you can see that it has all the different files that were in your rails application that you created here so if you just do ls here ls dash l you see all these different files here the app file the config file the vendor file they're all here as well the app config vendor all of them are here next let's say you want to make some changes to your application and you then want to upload it into github again so to do that i'm opening a text editor i'm using sublime text but you can use another one if you want click on file open folder and navigate to your rails application it's in sites within that the sample app so click on sample app the entire folder make sure the folder name sample app appears here and then click OK and now you will have the entire sample application open in your sublime text editor let's say we just make a single change I just want to add a new file here so let's say new file and I just type hello world on it then I save and I just have to name it as hello world dot or you can just call it hello dot HTML and click save git add dot that adds the new file that you created into your git account on your local machine and then you can say git commit dash a m within quotes a new file added I'm just giving a descriptive text here close quotes and press enter and that has been committed to your git account and now you can just say git push and when you say this your change will be pushed on to your github account and there it is and now if you go back to your github account and if you go to public within that you'll see a new file called hello.html which was inserted just now and if you click on it you'll have the material that you just typed in.